Hello everyone, welcome to GGN. This is part two for this news report today, which is Thursday, November 1st, 2012. This first article I have up for you is kind of big, bro big brother-ish. UK government agency do trawl social media sites for intelligence. Not anything really new, but it, you know, it's, there's always some kind of new article telling, um, telling people how much you're being spied on. A lot of times they just don't want to believe it, so goes on here says Facebook, Twitter, and all of them, all of them could be a source of valuable intelligence that the UK's intelligence agencies want to know about. And now the government's eavesdropping and security agency is developing new tools to sift through them for nuggets of useful data. These new algorithms will automatically extract information from huge volumes of speech, text, and image content gathered across a full range of modern communication media. This will enhance the agency's ability to pick out keywords and phrases from phone calls and emails as they are passing over networks in near real time, which is, we already know they're doing that, enabling government spies to find meaningful patterns and relationships between people deemed a threat, such as suspected terrorists. There's the big T. And then we have temporal analytics, turning protest noise into intelligence from October 31st. So sign waivers should read this. While it's true, it's hard to predict what people will do, it's also increasingly true that people worldwide do admit and discuss their behavior through online social media, and that can be monitored and analyzed in near real time. Companies such as intelligence analyst contractor Record Future, which is backed by Google and the CIA and others for this very reason, offer examples of that routine basis. Recorded Future tracks protests occurring around the world by extracting references to those events and their locations from online media. This is why it was handed out to you guys, so that they could track you even more. Police question disability activists about criminal posts on Facebook. So, it's an update on a female disability activist who was questioned by two police officers last week in her home at midnight in relation to comments she had posted on Facebook critical of government cuts and specifically Department of Works and Pensions and their attacks on the rights of disability claimants. So, pretty crazy. This is in yeah, England. You know, and the thing is, is uh, just like I was talking about, they uh, created those network social media and that to track you, uh, all your communications. And they, and they want people to do that. They want the people to feel comfortable uh, not uh, giving their whole personal life, including when they uh, their, rest, their trips to the restroom and when they go to the store and who they're screwing and whatnot, uh, is money, right? Uh, money is a means of control. And they allowed a middle class to exist for a while in America uh, and around the world so that they can build up all these gadgets to build up all of the AI, all of the computers, all of the cyborgs uh, that are going to help control your lives and enslave you even further. Uh, because I think they're pretty much done with that. I think they have most of the cutting edge that they, that they need and want. It's only a matter of time until it's rolled out. Um, and the thing is, is then when they're done with it, then they can they can get rid of uh, the middle class and they get rid of you ha actually having some kind of power, which is uh, money, right? That's why I say money is power. You can buy off elections, you can buy off judges, everything. Anti-DEA rants on Facebook spark criminal prosecution. I've covered this already. Federal judge okays prosecution of man accused of posting anti-police rants on Facebook saying that dismissing criminal charges on free speech grounds would be inappropriate. Then a superstorm, Sandy rumors, cost congressional campaign manager his job. I'm sure most of you have heard this. I just saw this yesterday. But the congressional campaign manager who confessed to spreading falsehoods on Twitter during Hurricane Sandy has resigned from Christopher Rice, New York City congressional campaign. I don't even know who it was. But um, it goes on. He says he sent out several pieces of misinformation during the worst of the storm on Monday. Um, uh, the reason I'm covering this is, of course, it's, you know, it's kind of like self-censorship and censorship. He's being blamed for spreading the now widely debunked rumor that New York Stock Exchange trading floor has been flooded with three feet of standing water. The rumor was eventually picked up by CNN. See, picked up by CNN and New York Magazine until the New York Stock Exchange officially shot it down. So they, the mainstream media ran with it. Just like when they get someone like, um, a Zion, what is it, uh, Syrian Danny or a Zionist Danny, whatever he was, you don't see him anymore. Why? Because he was called out for what he was on CNN, a shill. You know, like the whole thing about the weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. All the mainstream media just went hook, line, and sinker for that. They didn't question anything. Uh, but this individual, uh, he's going to be under fire for it. So, Nine anti-drone protesters cited for blocking 
uh, Beale Air Force Base, four women and one man, uh, man who remained standing in front of the Air Force Base gate after authorities asked them to move their protests off federal property were cited Tuesday and saying, we shall overcome. So, yeah, about 50 people actually gathered in the morning. And I think in New England there was just protests recently at uh, some kind of Air Force Base about drones as well, and they were arrested too. Social media surveillance helps the government read your mind. So just going off what I just said, Big Brother has collected more info on the average American than the Stasi did on East Germans. The Army considers the useful social networks to be a sign that you might be a potential terrorist, which you all are, just so you know. Um, and it goes on here, it says the government eavesdrops and collects Americans' electronic communications. The better the NSA knows what you're doing every minute of the day, it's like being able to read your mind, which makes sense when you get to this article. Because, you know, if you watch about how Facebook was created, it was actually created by front companies from the CIA and DARPA and all them. Uh, CIA and Google invest in high-tech crystal ball technology. CIA and Google have joined forces. I, I'm sure Google's just a CIA front company anyways, or NSA. Uh, have joined forces to fund a startup company that claims to have the technology to predict the future using information collected from the internet. So, it goes on and says it measures online momentum, sentiment combined with visualiz visualization tools to show patterns and links between information and predictions, according to U.S. reports. It's called Temporal Analysis Engine. So, kind of like what we were talking about, scans blogs, online news sources, government websites, financial databases, and social networks. They might be able to predict what happens next in an attempt to bring a real-time element to the current field. And just like I was telling you about, about the money as a means of control, and they let you have some now they're taking it away, um, the Internet. The Internet was created. It was out there nice and free, created by the military and that. Um, and now that they got it up, and it's in a lot of people's homes, they want to what? They want to rein it in. They want to start uh, controlling it even more after beta testing for, you know, what, 20 years. You know, people are hooked now. And it's not just about being hooked, it's about, it's a part of our society now. So, you know, everything with GGN revolves around it. So, I mean, they introduce it knowing that it's gonna change society. That's what's so powerful about these, about these groups and these people. A state police mentality, or I think they meant to say a police state mentality has taken hold in the US after 9-11, the false flag attack. Between 92 and 2008, the numbers of police grew by 25%. In 2008, there were 705,000 full-time officers in the U.S. The number was 564,000 in 1992. So, we have 2 million people and more people in prison. Everything is illegal. Everything gets you arrested. And they have more and more laws, tasks that cause you to be subject to arrest. And these are police everywhere. So he says it isn't just that you have more police, you have police who are much more heavily armed. You're talking about being militarized. Our town has a SWAT van with really heavy weapons, machine guns, and all kinds of things, and it's never been used that the Pentagon gives to them. So, and then they go in there and they raid the wrong house, and they shoot the wrong people, or they traumatize the wrong kid. And they say, oops, sorry about that. Um, you know, leaving like mothers and stuff like that, or children uh, uh, urinating on the floor and, and just panic. And... and uh, they're scared, you know. Chicago land police hit with torture and forced confession lawsuits. They might be learning from the New York and the CIA that runs that department about torturing. So they were torturing and coercing confessions against African African American citizens who were wrongly convicted and sentenced to years in Ben Affleck defends TSA Johnson grabbing. Of course, what does he have to worry about? He bypasses TSA security by flying on private planes, so they won't be grabbing his junk, and uh, you can go in there and watch that video. He defends the TSA, so this is what he defends. TSA screeners who are arrested for alleged child rape. So those are the type of people that are help keeping you safe, like he said. They've had priests that got kicked out of churches uh, working for the TSA. they got people get caught stealing all the time, people's iPod. I think it was the mainstream ABC News actually caught them stealing uh, somebody's uh, smartphone or whatever it was. Very expensive item. In two murder cases, mothers turn in their own sons. Um, and I cover this because I like to cover, like, again, I'm, I'm kind of like a little analytics computer myself. That's how my brain works, and I see patterns. And so here we go. Two murder cases, the mothers turn in their own sons. And how it relates to society and how it relates to this brave new world um, is what? It's like 1984. You have to turn in your own family members because it's the right thing to do. You never know, right? It was not, it was not the only high-profile case this week. 
um, in which a mother made a painful choice in New Jersey. This woman saw on a Facebook page, of all things, that led her to call uh, the police. The main motive, they say, to criminologists is simply to desire to do the right thing. I love that, dude. Because why? Because if you obey the law, you're doing the right thing. If you break the law, then you're doing the wrong thing. You see how simple that is? Because see, they when they, when they look at you as a little baby, as a little infant, and you're, you're a grown man, right? You got hair in all the different places, and your, your voice has dropped, and your members have dropped, and um, you're taller. Uh, you have to pay taxes and slave away for that. Um, you're a grown man or you're a grown woman. You're not a child. But they like to talk to you like that. That's how simple things are to these people that control you. These are law-abiding people, see? Good people. And they're pro-social people. They love being socially engineered. The programming's worked well on them. And people say, well, what's the matter with that? You know, they want to, they want to get children help. Well, you can do that. You can do that. I just, for me personally, I think everything is effed. I think family is effed. I think society is screwed. And I think that when people have to go to these bastards um, for, like, psychological and CPS and their kids and stuff like that, that's not, I mean, dude, just try to handle it within the family. You know what I mean? But I don't think people really want that anymore. I think they like the scientific uh, social engineering. Mexico passes law to combat cartel money laundering. So I've covered this before about HSBC. Ooh, sorry for aiding Mexican drug cartel lords and terrorists. Let's talk about massive horrific lapse that resulted in money laundering for drug cartels. It wasn't the only one. It was Wachovia Bank laundered money for the Latin America drug cartels. Um, but now Mexico wants to pass a law to, to combat this. So, but they also want to do what? The Mexico uh, study says legalizing marijuana would cut cartel income by 30%. So, but they're talking about the uh, prohibitionist policies of the U.S. It's not that they don't like the drugs. It's just that they want to make sure that they can control the market, that they have a monopoly, i.e. the CIA, to fund their uh, their black ops and their wars that are off the books and their black books, black budgets. Uh, that's why they do the drug trade. That's you know, what's going on in Myanmar. Just covered that. Opium up uh, in Afghanistan. That's up. And... Um, and yeah, actually, uh, the U.S. government is involved with uh, siding with certain drug cartels right now. I think it was the Sinola, and not the, and they're dropping the Zetas. America's new meth source, Mexican cartels say, 80% of the U.S. meth that is sold in the U.S. is from Mexico. So there you go. Maybe that's a new. Th Will American homeowners and armed uh, posse's take matters into their own hands as home invasions ride? Well, it's, well, that's the question, right? We, one would hope that they wouldn't just sit there, but I think, like I said, people don't really want to think all that much for themselves. It's 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 really easy to just to say things, regurgitate it, like diarrhea coming out of your mouth about things that you heard, and not actually think. Because when you start to think for yourself and you stand for that idea or that ideology or philosophy, you get attacked. You get attacked bad, and so they'll just sit in their houses as uh, people are raiding and, and stuff like that. And they won't defend it because they'll be waiting on the cops. The funny thing and the irony is that it'll be the cops are the biggest home invaders and kidnappers and money launderers and uh, burglars. So Oklahoma girl 12 shoots intruder during home burglary. So yeah, she shot her or shot the burglar. Bank, pres bank president greets robber with a colt. It was at 38. It says here, People's Bank in Missouri supports concealed gun rights. So it was a family-owned People's Bank in Missouri. The robbery was witnessed by Brink bank president who filed the 58 year old out of the parking lot and drew his gun at the robber set in a Ford pickup. So when the robber indicated too he had a gun and he might use it, Thompson discouraged the idea, said, you don't want to go there. Uh, this will end badly. So then we have Oklahoma prepares for open carry gun laws. That's right. It says that a new law takes effect on Thursday, which is today in Oklahoma. Anyone licensed to carry a concealed firearm can choose to carry a weapon out in the open in a belt or in shoulder holster loaded or unloaded. And I'm just going to leave it here, uh, end it with this article right here, because I'm just going to bust into a third one, because I have enough articles that I want to get to, and I can't squeeze it in, in this last minute. Um, all the headlines and links will, will be posted in YouTube's video description, so please check those out. I try to give a brief overview of what's going on. I don't have time to get into the nitty-gritty, the full uh, particulars of each article, so I, I recommend you go check them out and come up with your own decision. I'm just throwing out my own ideas here you know <laughs> i i don't think i'm right on everything probably not right on most things you know that's why i love when people make comments about that oh you're probably this and they make all these assumptions like dude i don't know i'm conjecturing here a lot of times dude 
but I have a brain. I'm an individual, and I think, and I like to express that. Thank you.